Hi everyone and welcome back to Windows Hill Succulent Gardening. So this is hopefully just a bit of a quick video um, to let you know about these moonstones. So you might recognise these from being in the little bonsai pot that was sat over there. And uh, I've actually agreed to um, send these to someone in exchange for some other plants. Because um, as you can see I've already got a nice little pot of moonstones over there. And I just don't need all these duplicates. But um, I've had a lot of messages off people kind of in the past telling me that they really struggle growing these plants um, especially like propagating them from leaves and stuff but even just keeping them alive so I thought I'd just give you a quick look at the soil now that I've got them out of it and um, just give you a couple of tips on how I've looked after them basically so um, this is the soil and sorry about the lighting but there's just no sun at the moment it's very dark so as you can see it's primarily perlite uh, there are some bits of bark in there and some little bits of grit and then um, some pieces of peat as well. And they've done really great in this mix. So um, I just thought I'd kind of let, let you all know what I used and what worked for me. I'm sure there's many alternatives and like you probably know I don't really like perlite very much but it's uh, it's really done the job in this case. So there you go. So it's primarily perlite as you can see so if you wanted to copy it then you can kind of have a go at that. But the nice big healthy plants, um, obviously that's the one where the aloe fell on it and then you can see that top bit there is what's grown uh, as a consequence, so that's really cool. And uh, nice big plants, really great root systems, especially on that one. And then, and then there's the little one that was in water and he's, he's got a couple of little roots developing. But um, in terms of looking after these... Um, I've kept them really dry. I mean, as you can see, the mix itself was already quite um, gritty. Uh, lots of uh, inorganics in there. But then, honestly, these are probably the plants that have been watered the very least. And I would only water these um, when I started to sh see shriveling in the, in the lower leaves. And that has meant that they haven't grown very quickly. Um, as I may have mentioned, I actually grew all these from leaves. And that was about a year and a half ago, so they're not particularly big for, for that age. Um, but they're very healthy, so I think that's the main thing, isn't it? And um, so, yeah, just just to give you a little bit of an update, and uh, hopefully you find that a little bit useful if you're growing them yourself. If you're trying to propagate them, obviously you just remove a leaf, um, preferably one of the lower ones. Um, but the larger the leaf, the faster the growth I used to find because I had um, I had about 12 of them and they were all various sizes and I did find that the ones that came from the larger leaves like these top ones uh, did grow quicker but they all they all worked um, and then I kept them very much on the dry side so I uh, can't remember exactly what the mix was I think it might have just been a cacti compost back then actually um, and I used to use a spray bottle but they did stay on the on the dry side because I didn't spray them very often, um, and I uh, actually kept them at the back of my room at first, so they weren't near the window or anything. They just kind of get some morning light, but never any direct light. And then after a little while, I transferred them into this mix as you, that you can see here, and uh, yeah, then I really started to up, up how much sun they got because the roots had developed into the soil and uh, just went from there really. So. If you've got any questions about these plants, um, I seem to have become fairly good at growing them now, so just let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I'll, I will probably be trying to grow um, another one of these in a different soil mixture and kind of see see if we can emulate the uh, good results I've had with this one. Because like, like, you know, I don't really like using perlite and peat, so if I can try and replicate it with a, an ingredient that I prefer, then that would be good. So. That'll probably be a little experiment for this year. I might move that guy into something new. So that's it. I'll end that video there. Thanks very much for watching. Give me a like and uh, maybe check out the uh, PayPal donation link in the description if you found it useful. Or if I answer some of your questions in the comments. Because I spend a lot of time these days actually uh, replying to people and answering questions. And um, It'd be cool even if like you could just like donate a dollar or something like that. You know, I'm not not asking for too much um but anyway no pressure or anything i just thought i'd mention it and uh thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already 